Even with apologies and promises made to this day, a Flint woman tells our David Sack writer that she's still living the crisis with lead in her home. She adds she's completely lost trust in her city's water. Nothing has changed in 10 years. It's still doing the same old stuff. Every two weeks, Carol Sewell goes to the grocery store to purchase water. Each trip, she brings home eight full gallons. Can't use the water and I can't do anything about it. Sewell uses bottled water for everything, cooking meals, cleaning, and bathing. You have to get gallons of water, put it in a pan, heat it up on the stove, and you have to wash fast enough so the duck on water doesn't get cold. All of this is because even 10 years later, Sewell still doesn't trust the city's water. She says she still has lead inside of her water heater, and she can't afford to get it replaced while she's purchasing water to survive. We have less money to pay our bills and uh, less money to get the things that we need to get done, and it just, we have to go without. At the same time, Sewell is still paying her water bill for water she can't even use. What they've done is horrendous. And they've left us in a catch-22 where we can't do anything about it and we really don't matter. Simmering under the day-to-day -day pain is a lack of trust that will stay with Sewell and her family forever. No one in Flint should have to experience this at all because this totally was not our fault. We did not want this water. We did not ask for it. But yet we're forced to deal with a situation that we have no control over and nobody cares. In Flint, David Sackrider, ABC 12 News.